In the previous video we generated an image which I thought could use a bit more contrast and I did that uh, with Faststone, an external image editor. That is a quite a quick process with Faststone but it is not necessary. There are collections of custom nodes that can do post-processing of your image right inside Comfy UI. Let's have a look. This was that particular image and I am right now in fast stone and the word already says it, it's fast. Uh, I can do adjust lighting, type in a little bit of contrast and maybe type in a little bit of color saturation and this is my new image. That's, it's rather quick, this is before, this is after. Um, so it is not a big deal, but it can be done inside Comfy UI. We can go from this image to this image without doing any trouble. Let's see how we can do that. There are a couple of nodes available for that. One of them is the WAS node suite. It's already quite a long time available and is uh, regularly updated. Uh, the whole issue, uh, for me at least, with these uh, uh, WAS node suite is that there are so many nodes inside. Uh, this is uh, only a collection of the image processing nodes and well, it will take months to uh, see what is what and how it works. But it is uh, really very nice that it is available, it's just a lot. Uh, there's another uh, node set that is the Pro Post set that has only 6, 7, 8 nodes that do uh, things like vignetting or adding uh, film noise. A quite nice set. And there's another set, uh, the Post Processing nodes that has a collection of, well, also uh, more than 20 possible things you can do with your image to change it. To install these nodes, as usual, we go to the Comfy UI Manager in the search field type post of post processing and there we already found those two that we just saw. And if you like to have the WAS node suite, yeah, type in WAS and there uh, it is on the top. Here we have that uh, rendering of the previous video. Uh, the the Koya Deep Shrink node is active and we generated an image of 2000 pixels without any upscaling. And that image uh, that looked a little bit flat, uh, not very colorful. Uh, what I did now is add at the end of the workflow, add uh, a few nodes to change that right inside Comfy UI. And this is the node that I used, add node post processing, color adjustment, color correct. That is this node over here. And I also added in the same fashion a sharpen node, but this is the default sharpen node that is always already in available inside Comfy UI. Uh, for the color correct, I just gave a couple of parameters for contrast 20, saturation 20. That is probably far overdone, but that's just to show that it works. And for the sharpening, I used the default settings, which I probably far too much uh, and this is the image that we had and this is the image that comes out. Well, it certainly has a lot more pop and a lot more sharpness, but this is of course exaggerated. This is what we should never do, but uh, only to show that it works. Uh, just add a couple of notes and you can improve an image that has, that needs a little bit extra. Another function that is available is film grain and I have it over here. Um, that can be had by adding the node post processing filters film grain filter. Uh, well, we have to play a bit with the parameters of course and I also added a little vignetting which makes the, uh, the corners or the sides a bit darker. And I can already see that this is not the type of image to do that with. So I made uh, another image uh, photo by David Hamilton uh, that is supposed to be quite soft uh, pictures. And with, well, in this case, uh, nice lighting from the outside window. 
And uh, well, yeah, it is a, a just a normal photo. But if we put a little bit vignette in on it, then uh, yeah, we get a different feel, a different uh, dramatic effect. And now if we also add a little film grain, maybe that is not quite visible on the video, I don't know. Uh, and I exaggerated it a little bit, otherwise I thought it would never be possible to see it. But this is the photo after adding vignetting and film grain, and this is before. So with and without. And well, yeah, personally, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, tastes differ, of course, but I think this uh, a nicer image, a more, yeah, more, how shall I put it, more emotional than this image. Let's do something similar with the other uh, post-processing notes that we just added, the Pro Post notes. Add note, Pro Post, camera effect, and then we have two notes for vignetting and for film grain. They are separate. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, here we have we have a vignetting and a film grain node over here, and there are a lot more parameters to play with. That can take a day already to find out what is what. Uh, I did not bother it. I used default settings, but the fun with this vignetting is that we can also change the center. Uh, from where it starts to work and uh, we have that window here on the left so I moved the vignetting a bit to the left such that the right side is coming becoming a bit darker but more of the light stays, stays on the left maybe it's quite subtle but let's have a look at that this is the original image again this is with vignetting and it's darker at the right than it is at the left so that is a subtle change and this is with noise edit. So this was before and this is after post-processing. Uh, yeah, again, you may uh, differ in opinion if this is a nicer image than this. Uh, that doesn't matter. I only want to show that it is possible and you can, of course, fine tune anything to your liking. Okay, so now an interesting question is, can't uh, Stable Diffusion do it itself? Uh, can I ask in my prompt like over here for a vignette and film grain why not maybe it does that well it does not really probably it does a little bit this is the image that came out it was the same prompt but for those two editions so we do now get a different image that's always the case if you change your prompt the image differs not by much but this is a different girl and yeah, I don't see uh, much vignetting and film grain going on. So I put it through uh, those nodes again and then this came out. And yeah, uh, film grain can help to move away from a typical AI generated image to yeah, a more realistic image. If you do not exaggerate it that much uh, as I did right here. Let's do another example and move away from photos and go to some uh, watercolor painting. Uh, we pick the uh, very simple color correct uh, note again and that has not only contrast saturation settings and a couple of others, it also has a very easy to use temperature setting. If we go to uh, negative values like I did over here, minus 20, your image becomes colder, more blue, as we, as we can see this is more blue than this. And if you go to the positive side, then it becomes warmer or more yellow. This is the default image that came out uh, without doing anything. This is the image after adding some contrast and saturation. That's already a lot more pop. Maybe uh, it is not a nicer image, but this is just to show what is possible. Now we make it warmer. Yeah, this is more yellow, more warm. This was before, this is after. Or we go to the negative value, it becomes more blue. So it is very simple to make these minor adjustments to your image. Uh, after it has been generated, but it goes in one in one go and it doesn't take a long time either It is not at a cost Okay, this is a French castle again watercolor picture that came default out of the uh, AI and this is with some more uh, contrast and saturation before and after and this is uh, if we make it more orange, well, this, this is a bit too much. 
uh, and this is when we make it colder. It's just one setting you can play with. Right, final, let's get back again to a photo and, and let's one more time see uh, the vignetting and film grain. I tend to like it. Uh, this is a, a girl uh, rendered, uh, a glamour photo, which means uh, her skin is much too smooth to my personal liking. But I can add all kinds of keywords in the prompt. I don't get a much better skin. And this image, this is what I call a typical AI image. It is too smooth. And what can you do? A bit vignetting for some dramatic lighting, which also makes the image darker. But I also added some film grain. It's maybe again too much. Uh, I exaggerate a bit, otherwise I was afraid it wouldn't show on the video. But uh, this image certainly looks less smooth than this image. And therefore, it also looks less as if it is AI generated. Yeah, well, maybe the eyes are never perfect and the teeth never are perfect. Fingers are luckily not on, they also never are perfect. But this starts to look better than this plastic. Here's another example. On the left, we have a woman rendered in one go. It is too plastic. And here on the right, I added a little bit of film grain noise and maybe again too much, but it looks less as if it is AI generated. Here I have zoomed in a little bit. This is yeah too smooth, typical AI image. This with a little bit of uh, grain, film grain noise looks uh, less AI generated. How I, I don't know how to put it in words. Uh, you can play with the factor. This is too much probably, but it's just to, to get a little bit away of that plastic. And it's all for free because you add the note and then you, you have your go with it. Well, this was it in this video. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in the next. In the meantime, have fun.